last big Friday night of high school hoops before the holiday tournaments. We start our highlights in the Middle Illini Conference. Pekin's about to host a big holiday tournament. Tonight they were hosting at Metamora. Great ball movement. First time down the court, Tyler Mason attacks the three-point play from Mason. Every time I see him, that Mason kid is better and better. Pekin answers with a three-point play of their own. Current Clark to Tate Schaefer for the hoop and harm, but Metamora just keeps on scoring. Watch Tyson Swanson, the block on defense. Then Tyler Mason on the fast break, the beautiful bounce pass delivery to Luke Hopp. Now Pekin hung around. Matthew Jurgens wheels and deals and shoots and scores. Game was tied 15-15, but Metamora goes on a 10-0 run to take control. Ethan Kaiser is going to dial long distance for three right here, and Mason was just terrific. At the end of the first quarter, Mason's going to get the ball in the corner and beat the buzzer. You'll hear the buzzer. The three is good by Mason. Then check out Mason on the defense. He's going to come up with a swipe, and he's taking off. He had 20. Metamora wins it. 60 to 44. The middle line eye game of the night in Honolulu. Wait a second. Well, that's East Peoria at Washington. I got a little confused there. East Peoria at Washington tonight. Jack Dubois is the jumper for East Peoria. This one was a one-point game at halftime. One-point game after three quarters. It was a terrific game. A.J. Reinders, the three for East Peoria, who enters the game undefeated in the middle on eye. Washington comes back. Gabe Patterson on the drive again. Washington up by one as we start the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter, Justin, DuPage, Justin Page to Dubois for the three-point play for East Peoria. But the Washington seniors come through. Jake Stewart, number three. 4-3. Later, it's going to be Jake Stewart again. A huge three, and he's going to hold the pose. The follow-through is good for three. Then Jake to Micah Brewer for three more. The game was tied when Brewer hit this three. Washington wins it 52-45. The Morton Potters at Limestone tonight. Big night for Evan Barlow. Barlow had 16 points to lead the Potters. He Goes from the corner to the bucket for two right here. Great game by Barlow. Later, Wes Gudeman to Tate Rowley. And check out the Potter fans here. They've got their arms up in the air already. Three for Rowley. Gudeman's going to score on a pretty drive right here. The sophomore uh, actually gets the ball down low and then puts it on the floor to score. Limestone gets a nice bucket by Joe Lamberti. A nice spin move by Lamberti for two off the window. But this one's all Potters. Where Gus Rugard's going to find Gudeman again. Go into the basket for two more on the attack for Morton, and then it's going to be an all-around good three by Kevin Saunders. The Potters roll Dunlap, all-around good three. Dunlap also a middle line winner over Canton. All right, we head now to the Big 12 Conference and a big Peoria City rivalry. Peoria Richwoods at Peoria High. Coach Danny Ruffin's Lions hosting the Knights in a wildly entertaining game for Peoria High. It's going to be Daquan Little working the baseline for two. But then LaShawn Stowers is going to find big Eli Love. Love makes a nice catch, beats the double team, and scores the bucket. But late first quarter, second quarter, Richwood's got cooking. Greg Burnside, pull-up jumper for two. Then Jared Jackson, a beautiful drive, and Richwood's night bucket right here. The spin and in, beautiful with the left hand. That was nice. Tavy Smith is fun to watch. Watch Tavy drive the pass to J.D. and Moore for the bucket. Then Tavy Smith taking it all the way, and Richwood's going to get the win. 56-55, the Knights by one. We head to the kitchen. Peoria and Notre Dame hosting Danville, and wow, were the uh, Irish cooking in the kitchen. They sunk their first four shots. They sank them, they sunk them. Owen Dillon for three. Then Teddy Dimler's got the shooter's touch for three. Later, it's the Iowa Hawkeye recruit Cooper Koch for three. First four shots all go in, but not enough shots go in. Danville goes home with a 41-38 victory. Big Twin City rivalry. Normal community hosting Bloomington. Ironman up by six at halftime. Great to see this guy back. Braylon Roman back from injury. Scores off the pretty assist from Robbie Brent. Roman is a ton. Then it's going to be Owen Myers on the drive and the three-point play for Normal Community. Brady Starkey for three, and Normal Community starting to pull away. Bloomington, though, has other ideas. Nico Newsom with a pretty little float game right here. Then Nico Nosum says, forget the finesse float. He's throwing it down. Nico's all fired up now. He's going to get the ball again, and well, he's going to throw another one down. But he forgot to tell Jaheim Weber, who meets him above the rim for the swat. Weber had a double-double, 14 points, 16 rebounds, the flush. Roma Community wins it 66-50, a big night for Weber and the iron. Also tonight, Normal West and Peoria Emanuel winners on the road in the Big 12. What a rivalry game tonight in Pontiac. It's Prairie Central, ranked number two in the state, taking on their big rival, big crowd at Pontiac tonight. They'll have a big crowd starting next week for the Pontiac Holiday Tournament, I guess. 
couple weeks. I'm getting ahead of myself. I can't wait to get up to Pontiac and check out the tournament. Great game tonight as Prairie Central came out shooting the three right there. That was a uh, bucket right there by Prairie Central's Drew Habercorn for three. And then Levi Goad. What a smooth move by Goad. Pontiac gets a three by Henry Brumble. Then a rebound put back by Logan Barnett. But Boy, Prairie Central is so athletic at all five positions. They get a steal and a hoop here again by Levi Go Beats everybody down court for two. Then watch this highlight. Drew Habercorn. Wow! What a swat by Habercorn. On the other end, Dylan Bazell. What an athlete he is. He goes baseline for two. Then Levi Go to Tyler Curl. And the Hawks are winners at Pontiac. 54-37 Prairie Central. Tremont hosting Fisher tonight. The Turks flying in the pregame and looking good in the game. JT Kaiser, I like to watch this kid play. Dials a long distance for three. Then watch number one. He's going to find Alex Garcia with just the beautiful bounce pass delivery. And Garcia with the bucket. Grant Williams is going to soar, snag the rebound and put it back up and in. And Tremont's a winner tonight over Fisher. That's the Turks beating the Bunnies. The Thanksgiving Turkeys beating the Easter Bunnies just before Christmas. Tremont, your winner. I've used that joke for about 35 years now. Uh, other winners tonight, uh, Lexington wins at El Paso. Gridley Eureka's a winner, Elwood a winner, Peoria Christian a winner, and Illini Bluffs a winner. If you're a high school hoops fan, Eureka College has a big shootout with games beginning tomorrow at noon, continuing all the day. Final game at 7.30, that should be fun. Tonight was not just a high school hoops night at Peoria High, but also a celebration of football. The Peoria High Lions pulling the string, and there is their state runner-up banner being unveiled tonight. What a year for the 2022 Lions. Good Jim Thornton and the boys honored with a banner on the wall for their state runner-up season. Hey, College Hoops is next on 25 Sports.